thing around and then pulled it off. The cabin fever is real thing, speaking from experience. Yeah, no, I get the um, cooped up at home stuff every so often where I must like leave and like stand outside in the sun and shit. Because like basically working from home at night and then like being asleep during the day, I just I feel like I'm like home 100% of the time. Like some plant, I don't know. I kept thinking about it. Uh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's, you know what? That's probably what his problem is. It wasn't the food. It wasn't the taste. It was the fact that he had to butcher the creature, the creature being a person. But like anybody that's ever had to like butcher their own meat, unless you're actually adapted and accustomed to that shit, it is really like messes with you. So I don't have the need to leave, but I did start to notice I'm losing my mind. Well, I thought you'd been out recently. I thought you took a photo of um, the cat in the library window the other day. Ashley, come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? Uh, probably because she locked a child in a chest in a warehouse as a child. And now she's starving. I don't know. I compartmentalize. Oh, man. That usually means that they deal with, like, regular trauma. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezes. Love, I'm the only one making bad jokes tonight. Just calm down. What's it? I'm um, talking like COVID times and all. I was living alone at the time and uni was online. Uh, I used to work in a, um, what do you call it? What is those, um, uh, a priority kind of fields or whatever that were like allowed to go to work because you had to. I used to work in one of those fields, so I still had to go to work every day during COVID, which was terrifying for me because I have a lot of medical conditions that put me in a very dangerous position. And I work with a girl that had no fucking concept of like her actions and constantly had parties like every other night and it was putting me at risk endlessly. So like I didn't get the cooped up shit during that, but I had the opposite side of like constant perpetual fear of people. Ashley. Wah. Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew. Man, I can't I can't even like sound out a name like Andrew. It's like a little bit too long and punctual. Is it also now we know Ashley is all God with living like that? Cause she's because she has her brother to herself. Yeah, no, I figured that that was her beef earlier was that um, when she was happy that she's lock locked in, like she's just happy to be there with her brother. Like, uh, it's all good with living like that. Yeah, I figure that's all it is. Is it to tell you the truth? COVID happened and it's on the news about how people had to stay indoors. I think to myself, it's just another day for me, a hermit. Yeah, I don't think life changed too much for Grimm during it, but mine was... Mine really didn't change too much except for like I got to witness everybody else deal with the same shit I normally do with my OCD except everybody complaining about it because they had to do it. Andrew. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking messed up, bitch. Hey, I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. That was hilarious. <laughs> Fucking... Okay, what did we say before? She's all bark and he's butt? Confirm. Shadow. Fucking. What it. What's that? Clairvoyant. Clairvoyant. Fucking Shadow is seeing the future for us all right now. <laughs> then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's got any tears. Wow, wow. Mummy. The big bad. Was it? The big bad me did the evil thing. Okay, so that's how he's. Right. Yeah, he's having a cry. Shut your whore mouth. Fucking hell. Um, I made jokes earlier, but fucking hell. I, I guess, like, when she, like, made him consider the balcony earlier, like, this is, I'm going to count this as him getting him back. Make me, you little bitch. Forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? God, that's weird. This Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we'll unpack it all later. 
Or not. I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. But honestly, if I had siblings, I'd argue like that as well. And just feel it. Nah, my siblings just try to drown me. Frequently. I, I don't have this kind of like cutesy bond thing. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Oh no, I don't. They'd throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in a coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Okay, we talked about earlier. Okay, I wasn't considering that aspect. That's like possibly... Like... There's, there's things with that. We're going to ignore that. Um, but in prison, they get food. So how do they not fight a lot? Um, I don't know. Like, at, at this point, I don't know. I, I think, like, they've, like you missed some of the bitchy stuff earlier. Like, his girlfriend dumped him, and she this his sister was an absolute cunt to him. Like, she was so mean, and he just considered jumping off the fourth floor, like, balcony to, like you know, remove the situation. Ah, uh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Levy and the Escape from the Coffin. Oh, we're breaking out. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. Love you, Andy. Shove that Andy chunk up your ass already. <laughs> No chill. Also, like, is he is he gonna like go sleep in his own bed, or are they just gonna pass out there? I guess they don't really have that much energy to move around. Oh my god, I don't love you that much. Ah, you make me want to kill myself. Yeah, we've already established that. Not too bad. Diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. <laughs> hey, Bubba Wolf. Um, sorry, Bubba Lone Wolf. I have butchered everybody's name. Welcome in. It was cool seeing the um your Rimworld colony last night. It's a shame that like yours went like cannibal as well and just like ended up having to do a restart. It's a good good call waiver. Got to fight for yourself, pretty much. Is that prison would be great? Get foods, drinks, roof over your head, and reduce. Re was it reducted? <laughs> Grim. That took me a hot minute to figure out what that meant. Also, you're forgetting that you also get um. Uh, mandatory medical care in prison. A lot of people with like serious like um, illnesses that are beyond their uh, finances tend to like commit a crime late in life to end up in prison to get care in that way. So a pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Ah. Also, this is my random game night for anybody that might be in new in tonight. Um, my uh, inappropriate sassing of these characters is not my usual. It's normally like safe work, 18 plus safe work. Is it? If you're rude, you get rude back. Yes, that is 100% true, a waiver. Don't be rude in the first place and you don't get rude back. Um, that's it, that too. And that's the spirit. So your body absorbs some delicious nutrients. And you're feeling mightily better today. It's fine. It happens. The game starting over happens. Yeah. Ironically, I'm playing a game tonight about cannibals. So I feel like last night's RimWorld for you was like a really good, like, step into this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I misread that. I read it as road, not rude. Lol. You're the, is it also where the rocks in the pillow? Pillows normally can't do that. I mean, it depends on the pillow. If you have like a duck feather pillow, they're normally pretty heavy. Um, like mine's currently foam. I ended up getting that pillow that has the ear hole so that my um, piercings stopped hurting. It's working amazingly. If anybody's got too many fucking ear piercings, 100% recommend it. It's actually fucking amazing. Um, so your body has the source and delicious nutrients and you're feeling mightily better today. How am I? I'm actually pretty good. I'm so fucking keen to play this tonight. I love how they look. I really love how they look. Like we've, we've discussed how much I like how much they look. Um, there's a note stuck to the door. It reads, awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist layer, Andy. Oh, I knew he'd come around. Though for the moment there, I honestly thought he was going to be a suicide note. I didn't consider that when she got up either. 
Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. Yeah, no, I I was so fucking eager to play this. Actually started a little bit, like, just a few minutes earlier tonight just to get into it. Um, just because I like, I like the style. It's very interesting. Um, apart from that, yeah, generally had a pretty good day. Had some good sleep. That's always good. Have an energy drink, even better. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for the cultist guy. Yeah, that little demon was cute. Um, debatable, I mean. He was successful up to a point. He lacked an offering. True, now they have him as an offering. But you got to remember, the guy got killed and it didn't want him. So you can't really, like, um, give that back. You're playing as the boy or the girl. I'm playing as both. Um, so the demo allows you to play as only Lele, which is Ashley. Um, and I've got the full game, which allows me to go back and forth. I mostly play as the girl, but there will be times, I believe, where I've got to play as Andrew or Andy. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, it's mostly like both. Also, I like both of them. I really like both of them. Debatable, I mean, he was successful up to a point. He lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. No shit, it didn't like being called small either. Love both of them. Yeah, they're so good. Both of them are great. It's like, you know the meme, it's like, like, <laughs> this or that. It's like both, both are good. That's 100% me right now. Both are so good. <laughs> so Ashley, well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. So I'm doing well. Glad to get to hang out with you. Yeah. No, it's pretty awesome. I did end up watching a couple of like your previous like past videos and stuff like that. Kind of like lurk through some of that stuff. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Kind of got to like get to know a bit more of like what you're about and stuff. It's nice. I kind of do that. I tend to like lurk in people's streams um, and like watch through like past VODs and stuff. So nah, you're fine. Um, you're awesome. You're awesome. I also really like your avatar too. It caught my attention for being like uh, a, was it wolf demon? I believe. Wolf demon? I think. Um, yeah, when I was scrolling through RimWorld, I'm like, yeah, that's that's got my attention right there. I don't know if my sleepy wolves ended up waking up. Got um, Night Wolf and he's just recently got a lady wolf that's been um, sleeping over since last Friday. So they're sometimes in stream having a snooze. Um, if they turn up, you guys can give them like food and water. And um, I don't know so much if you'll want to like play with the ball at the moment, but um, that's only because like he's very cuddly with his lady. It's like, oh, well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. Yeah, so that's why I wasn't interested in, like, the long-term goal of, like, letting him escape to be able to, like, get a bigger reward later. It didn't want none of that shit. I take it you just want to ask one to get us out of here. But that's what the cultist guy did, and he didn't get anywhere. So just looking at this place, it looks really bad for them. Looks like them to sacrifice a guy in the circle. Yeah, if somebody opens up the door right now, they're fucked, right? There's no way. So, well, I wouldn't want to get um out of here the same way the cultists did harp hellhound and werewolf together for my vtuber yeah i was reading a bit about the about um you know your about section kind of thing and the only problem is like i don't i don't always remember everything i knew that you were like possibly hellhound wolf but i wasn't sure what quite combination off the top of my head but i think it's very cool um, I also like the fact that you're um, uh, very welcoming as well. That's that's awesome as well. I don't have anything up on my stream ever that specifically says like you know the LGG uh, what do you call it? LGT fucking can't say it at the moment. You guys know what the fuck I'm trying to say, right? That and furry and stuff community like welcoming and shit. But I am. Um, I just don't have it up on my stuff. <laughs> can't even fucking pronounce shit at the moment. I've been reading too much. That's it, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from that? I don't know yet. Okay, then. Well, we bargain with it. I don't know that either. Nice. I thought they were trying to escape. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. Dude hasn't had his coffee yet. 
They haven't had coffee for possibly months. It says here demons prefer human souls. So obviously it's got to be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? I try, thank you. Yeah. No, you're pretty awesome. Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Oh, was she thinking about, like, sacrificing him? Did she think about going and find another body? Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? Yeah. Some of the shit she's been saying, in, in, in quotes, in her mind, very loudly, that he's been catching. On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure out. We'll figure something out. Let's just set a ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Oh, man. So we were talking about, I bet there's salt around here too, because we were going to like possibly cure. Well, we were talking about, I don't know if the game lets you, but I was talking about like getting salt to cure the, the dead body. That way, you know, um, we can have human jerky for later. Because long-term goals here, people, you know, quick and easy meals aren't, aren't thinking it through. All right, so we've got a few candles. I just replaced them. What else do you need, mate? What do you need? Done. What now? Now we... Oh, oh, sprung. Still alive and kicking, are you? They're not in the right house. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. If he opens the door, they can run. They might get shot, but they can run. Sorry. Yeah. Hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weird one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. There's types? So fine, I'll check it. Check it after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. They're not in their home. They need to respond at their own home. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit. He's going to come in and see all this. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? If they take his body out of there, if they remove his body, they'll have meat for ages and they'll he'll be like, the one will just think that the guy did summon a demon and just got fucking like completely eviscerated. That's all he'll think. You know, nothing sus going on here. It's enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still going to find this guy missing unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No. Go before he notices we're not home. The pause, I think I know what happened. Nurse infected them with a different virus. See, that's what I was wondering, right? Is there was they spoke about drinking contaminated water. And then the next day or so, a nurse came around and took blood samples, right? And they're not allowed to leave because they have parasites. Like everybody just imagined the meme of aliens, but it's parasites, man. Um, so they got parasites, right? So nobody's come back, nobody's let them out, nobody's giving them food. And I'm wondering if perhaps whatever they're infected with is either fucking with their minds or or maybe there's like a longevity situation, like how long they can go without food um, or something like that. What happens now, because these guys, if they did a blood test, these two have eaten another person who's infected with potentially a different Gino of the virus so would they not show up on a blood test as having both wouldn't that be questionable because as far as I understand if you eat a person it does show up in your um, DNA on your blood test no Azula just like squeezed her face and curled up as well as my cap for anybody that doesn't know oh, this is getting interesting Continue. I am I am just holy fuck I was just grabbing a drink holy shit um, and keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Oh, I've got to do more cleaning. Wait, does this mean I have to go into a shit infested bathroom? Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. You know what? They could potentially throw him off the balcony with enough force. He could possibly squish in a way that doesn't look like he had arms or legs. Like, depending on how they do it. Um, there should be a corpse below then. Get the corpse if you don't get going already. Well, that and, you know, forensics of, like, you know, how long it takes for a, um... You're gonna do lick it clean. Maybe. Get a mop, you dumb bastard. All right, fucking calm down. <sighs> she still won't go in there. Well, 
Where can I get, is this little pot something I could use? No, wait, you need a mop. No shit, love. Um, all right, I can't go this way. What about over here? There's nothing over here, right? I already pickpocketed that. What else? Um, I, oh wait, is this it? Heidi Ho. Yeah, you might be right. Wait, Heidi Ho. Interesting. Let's all remember that for later. Yeah, I might have to go back to my place and get the mop. Yeah. You're probably right, Grim. I like how he's just standing there. Yeah, got a mop. All right. All right. If I can go and do some more cleaning. Hopefully she doesn't pass out. I remember the last time I cleaned floors. Like I said, this is the true horror in this game is cleaning. We all have to do it. None of us fucking like it. Some Somebody probably does. Ashley, the warden is coming. So does that mean that that's the last house? Get in there. I knew it was a hidey hole. You hid in the closet successfully. Yeah, cleaning. I told you. Cleaning is the true, one and only true horror in this game. Is that I have to clean shit. I put a load of washing on. I haven't got that out of the washing machine. I mop the floors in my house and this guy's house. God forbid I ever have to go into his toilet that smells like a shit-stained fucking encrusted place. These are greetings and salutations. Mate, what, who are you greeting? Huh? Anybody home? You, you don't notice the, the vandalism on the floor? I created another suicide. Uh, what the? How did you get in here? Oh, man. What? Okay. Okay. I was not expecting that. I will stretch. Thank you for the stretch, Bobalone. Oh, my God. Okay, so we were talking about that she's the bark and he's the bite oh he's he's a hundred percent fucking committed to killing the people it's what fresh body they should be fine for a while two people were for me i know right oh uh, if they just use the fucking salt that they use for the fucking satanic ritual and cure some goddamn jerky they'd be set for at least like six months easily the way that they have been sharing cans of tomatoes right they'll be fine oh man so that was shocking to me so far. Of everything I've seen in this game, that was a surprise. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. Yeah. No, he kind of looks a little pissed. However, um, Andrew murdered a guy, like, to save Ashley being discovered after she got discovered. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. I don't think he's going to listen. Come on then, Layla. Let's go play. I guess he's ready to play. He just murdered that guy. Look, we ate somebody earlier, Mirthless. I know you were possibly lurking and stuff, but, like, um, we already consumed the neighbor a little bit. We uh, we put the right leg first, stepped out of this place on, you know, the correct footing, all that sort of stuff. Man, I was full of jokes earlier. It was great. Congratulations, yeah. Um, she's. I thought I caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Is she considered the best of us? Because I, I, I don't think so. Is this more food? The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You know what? We still have this guy's fridge and freezer that's like half empty, right? It's only got one corpse in it. And our deep freezer's got another, like only got the limbs in it, right? And we still have a fridge and a freezer in our house. So we can very easily consume this for a while. If we could just get some fucking salt up in this place. Or vinegar. Vinegar is also a really great way to cure your meats. I guess your human jerkies. Fucking PSA here is, you know, remember to cure them safely. So as to not get fucking food poisoning lately. Or later. <laughs> How's that? Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man, like, directly. Yup. Well... Look, he butchered somebody earlier. Now he's killed them. She's just got to cook it up, you know. She was happy enough to cook something. She's going to use coriander today. Uh, what's it? Need to start open butcher shop at this rate. Yeah. Yeah, just all the disgruntled customers can wait over there. Um, 
I was a little surprised at her. You and me both. You and me both. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, well, see how you sleep after this one. I can't imagine, like, what this is doing to them psychologically. That makes them human snaps. That's what we're talking about. Like, here's the other thing, too, is don't waste anything. The bones make amazing jelly and soups. Like, um, you could probably make a fucking handbag out of the various hairs. Like, I don't know. Um, there's... I've heard about blood broths. Like, like get creative. There's so much like goodness in the blood. Like, don't don't waste that shit. Like, she left it on the ground before, you know, mopped it up later. But yeah, Ashley got that. Be careful, push him too much, and he might become the next meal. Is that? And she might become. The yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to question Andrew here. I kind of thought that she was the one that was pushing for all this, but I'm starting to question him. I said she should put him to sleep and then eat. <laughs> Look, she's pretty obsessive so far about her brother. She literally locked up another little girl when she was a little girl and left her, I'm assuming, to die in a, as an asthmatic um, in a box. So... Like, I wouldn't be surprised that her obsession could get to a level where she would kill and consume him. Like, that's my thinking. So, Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I... Okay. Looky here. Got a key to room 405. The warden has keys. I said she's put it in the button. He's trying to deal with it. Ashley might end up next. Ah, uh, I could only fucking imagine. So, we got a key. Does that mean I can leave? At last she unlocked the door. Wait. Before we go... Oh, fuck. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is no matter what happens beyond this door, I don't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously, obviously. And it'll do no... Is it? And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends. Next one comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. We might have noticed I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of a situation here. Not you. You think you're going to find mum and dad. But I'm saying all of this is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I, okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities. Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about it, isn't it the authorities you need to worry about? What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Oh, don't fucking kill her. Please don't kill her. I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if you have to put it... Even if I have to put you in there myself. Don't kill her! Fucking hell. You don't scare me, Andrew. I haven't saved for a while. Don't give me a reason to. <laughs> Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Okay, so he is actually fucking dealing from this. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm. All good. Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. So, oh, Andy, what? If she keeps calling him that, he's gonna fucking snap. I don't give a rat's ass about mum or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt necessary to even answer my calls or come, fl or come fling food up to our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. 
so my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy is here with me. No. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, I need to save. Shit. I should have saved before I took that action. Do you know why? I reckon I had two options there and I didn't think it through. I think I was supposed to go out the back door and back into my apartment. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Because remember, every single action I do throughout this game matters. Every single action. So I think I fucked up and I had two choices there. 